Welcome back, Year 6, to another session of Destination Reader. This is Lesson 6 of 20, about the story Cloud Busting by Mallory Blackman. I'd love to hear whether or not you are enjoying the story so far. Please email me, or write about your thoughts so far on my USO. Let's review some key things before starting. Please remember that any words you see in red throughout today's lesson are going to be important vocabulary words or key words that are important for your learning. Remember, when answering questions in Destination Reader, using those sentence stems from your strategy prompt sheet is very, very important. Questions for you to answer will be in blue throughout the session. And any time I'm going to pause the video and ask you to write something, those questions will be in green. Before we begin, please check that you have a copy of the story, a strategy prompt sheet, a pencil, and a piece of paper, or your home learning book. Please pause the video now and check that you have everything you need before moving on. Well done. Now that we have everything we need, let's start learning. Year six, this week we're starting on strategy number three. This week, all of our questions are going to be focused on that skill of inference. We've worked a lot on inference in class this year, so I don't think these questions will be very difficult for you. What does inference mean? And why do good readers make inferences? Let's see if you remember. Pause the video now and make note of your ideas on your piece of paper at home. Well done, Year 6. If you wrote that inference means to read between the lines, you are correct and well done. When we make inferences, we're looking for clues in the text that help us to better understand. We're looking for things that the author doesn't really say, but they imply that help us understand. Authors sometimes leave key information, like clues, for us. They also sometimes leave key information out so that we want to keep reading. Can you tell me out loud, Year 6, what is a piece of key information that Mallory Blackman has left out of cloud busting so far that makes you want to keep reading? Tell me now. Awesome job. For me, that piece of key information that she hasn't told us yet. So who is the class bully? I'm just dying to know. Year six, let's have a think. What has happened in our story so far? Pause the video now and think of three things that have happened so far. Well done. Yeah, so we've met some characters. We've met Davy, a new boy at school. We've met Sam, who wants to write a poem about Davy. And we've met a bully, who really doesn't like Davy very much. It seems to be really mean. I remember those really mean poems he wrote around the school. Ugh, those were horrible. Before we begin reading today, let's review two key vocabulary words we're going to find in our reading. The first word is a verb. Year six, what is a verb? Well done, a verb is an action word. It's a doing word. Let's do my turn and your turn. Reveal. Reveal. Well done. To reveal means to make something that was previously unknown, known to others. <gasps> Maybe the author is going to reveal something to us today. Our second vocabulary word is misery. Misery. Misery is a noun. It's a thing. 
It's a feeling. It's a state or feeling of great distress or discomfort. Now today, our questions are going to be worth either one mark or two marks. Let's recap how we answer one and two mark questions. One mark questions need a short and snappy answer. My turn. A short and snappy answer. Your turn. <laughs> well done. For example, how did the class bully feel about Davy? Have a think. Short and snappy answer. If you said he didn't like him or he hated him, you are correct. That is a one mark answer. It is what year six? Yes, it's short and snappy. Well done. Two mark answers need a P-E answer. My turn. A P-E answer. Your turn. Awesome job. For example, what effect does Davy's calmness in the face of all the bullying have on the bully? We read this last week. I've given you a point and evidence using examples from the text in my answer. I think Davy's calmness makes the bully feel even more angry because in the text it says his smile, which shows he is calm, just had to be wiped away, washed away, knocked away, smashed far away. So I've answered the question, I think Davy's calmness makes the bully feel angry, one mark, and I've given you evidence from the text which makes up my second mark. Let's begin reading. We are on chapter eight. Please find chapter eight in your book. Well done, we are ready. Now you're six. Before we begin, let's look at the picture. What does the mirror in this image suggest that chapter eight might be about? This is a one mark answer. So remember, your answer should be what? Yes, short and snappy. Pause the video now to note your answer. Well done. The mirror suggests that the narrator might be looking in the mirror or thinking about himself. So maybe this chapter is going to be about whoever this is. We've thought maybe this was Sam, but we don't really know. So it might be about this person taking a look at themselves and really thinking about who they are. Hmm. Let's start reading. Chapter 8. The Truth Hurts I want to tell you the truth. Time to tell you the truth. Cards on the table. Get it off my chest. Open my mind and reveal all. Let's stop there. My question to you is what do you think the term cards on the table means? Please listen while I think out loud and give you a correct two-mark answer to this problem. What do you think the term cards on the table means? I think the term cards on the table means to tell the truth. That's my first mark, year six. I told you what the term means. Now I need to provide evidence to get that second mark. I think the term cards on the table means to tell the truth because the narrator says a collection of other phrases that I know to mean to tell the truth. 
For example, he says, to get it off my chest, or to reveal all. Now, pause the video and give it a go. What do you think the term cards on the table means? Well done. Let's keep reading year six. We are about halfway down chapter eight, The Truth Hurts. I've just read Reveal All. The class bully, the class moron, the class idiot. His name was Sam. In case you haven't already guessed, I am Sam. Sam is me. I'm the one who made Davy's life a misery. Let's stop there. My question to you is how does Sam feel about himself at this point in the story? Pause the video now, think about your answer, and write it down, remembering this is a two-mark answer and needs a P-E answer. Off you go. Well done. Let's take a look at my answer to this question. How does Sam feel about himself at this point? So, year six, I get one mark for telling you how Sam feels. Then I get a second mark for giving you evidence from the text. So I've said, I think Sam feels ashamed and regretful. One mark. Because he calls himself a moron or an idiot, which means he realizes that the way he acted and treated Davy was not right. That's the end of our reading today, Year 6. Tomorrow, we'll continue reading Cloud Busting, and we will carry on making inferences. On your piece of paper, in, or in your home learning book, write about how you feel after learning Sam is the class bully. Were you surprised? If yes, why? Had you already guessed that Sam was the bully? If yes, how did you know? I will see you again tomorrow for another Destination Reader lesson. Goodbye.